What's up everyone and welcome to day 5 of our Holiday Sketch Masterclass. In today's lesson we're creating a sketch illustration of a horse. Now for today's lesson we'll be sketching on plain white sketch paper and using a black 4B pencil. Let's use a side grip and sketch with the flat edge. Starting from the very top, let's sketch out a circle. Going all the way around the left side. And then back in towards the center. And then we'll work our way around the right side using these short choppy lines. We're just gonna go back and just readjust the shape of our circle. Now we're gonna add some guidelines around that circle. Let's start on the left side. Start with a straight line going out toward the left and then all the way across towards the right. And now we're gonna add another guideline going across the center of our circle from top to bottom. Bring this all the way down towards the bottom of our page, and then up towards the top. Now you wanna slope the front edge of the head coming down and out towards the right. Let's start from the side of the circle. Sketch a line coming all the way down to right about there. And we'll draw a straight line coming in towards that center line. And then from the bottom left side of our circle, draw another straight angle line coming down, cross that center line, and then come down towards that bottom line. Let's curve the front edge of the neck, starting up here, curve this back, and then forward towards the right. Let's go back to the top of the circle and curve the back of the neck. I'm just gonna bend this out, come down, and then bend that all the way down towards the base of the neck. And we'll connect the back of the neck to the front with a slight curve, coming in and then down. Now I'm gonna go back and round out the bottom, starting over on the left, coming down, round this out, and then go up on the right side. And then we'll place the eye on the right side of the circle, starting up here from the center line, draw in a circle, going all the way around, and then back up. Now you want to layer the ear on top of the head. From the top of the circle, we're going to step down, curve this up, and then out. Pull this back down and in. Now we're going to tuck the back ear in behind the head. Starting from the center line, start with a straight line going up, bend this out, and then down. Now you want to add a guideline for the outside edge of the mane. Starting from the left side of the ear, it's going to go across, and then just bring that down towards the left. Now that we have the basic shape of the head, let's add a second level of detail. We're going to start on the bottom of the head, on the right side, sketch an oval for the nostril. And it'll round out the bottom edge of the head. Starting up here, step down, curve this down, and then back in. We're also going to round out the front of the head. Starting from the top, go out, and then bend that down. Now from here, we're going to layer the straps on top of the head. Let's start just above the nostril with a straight line going across. Just extending that out past the side of the head. And then from the ends, draw a straight line going up. And we'll close off the top. And we'll add a strap going across the side of the head. Let's we'll start from the top of the circle. Start with a straight line coming down just underneath the ear. Draw a straight angle line coming down towards the top left corner of that strap. Let's go back up to the top, curve the strap going up and then out towards the outside of the head. From that same point, we'll draw a straight angle line coming down towards the top of the neck. Now you want to block in that metal piece along the inside of the strap. Starting from the top, angle this down and in, and then come straight in. Let's go back up to the top, angle this up and in, 
Pull that same angle line coming all the way down. Go in and we'll close off the inside. Now from the inside, we're gonna add a curved strap coming down and then up towards the back of the neck. Bend this down and then up. Now that we have the building blocks of our drawing, let's go back and erase some of these guidelines. Once we're happy with the layout of our drawing, we're gonna go back in with the tip of our pencil and start adding some details. Let's start with the eyes. Starting from the top edge, it's gonna refine the shape. Going across the top of the eye, and then towards the inside. And then we'll just bring that down towards the bottom. Just tracing out the iris. And then just working our way out from the inside of the eye. Just adding some detail to the inside of the eye. Starting with that highlight. And darken up the pupil. And we'll add some shading along the bottom edge. And then just fade that out as we go in towards the center. Now using the side edge of my pencil, I'm just going to add some folds around the eye. Now from here, we're just going to refine the shape of the head along the outside. A 
working our way down towards our bottom strap. And then we'll continue to add some more shading along the bottom. I'm just going to add a furry texture around the bottom strap, just rounding out the edges and the corners. I'm just going to fill the inside with the furry texture. I'm just fading that out along the top. And going back with the tip of our pencil and adding a little bit more detail. Now from here, it's going to work our way across the nostril and adding that fold. And then we'll just darken up the inside. Now this strap is going to cast a shadow across the top of the head. And going back up to the top, we'll start adding some detail to that strap. Now I want to make sure we extend the strap beyond the side of the head.
Now we'll, then we'll sweep the mane across the base of the ear, over towards the left. And just overlap the top edge of that strap. And then adding a little bit more detail with the tip of our pencil. Adding some more shape to the ears. We're just adding some more detail to the buckle and the strap. Now from here we're going to start adding some detail to that metal strap.
and now just work our way towards the base of the neck. Now we're going to add a dark shadow across the bottom of the head and then just fade that out as we go up. Just working with the shape of the jawline. And we'll just add some shadows from the straps. Going back and darkening up the edge of the shadows around the strap.
I'm just adding some folds along the base of the neck, going up towards the jawline. And we'll just darken up that shadow. Now let's go back and trace the profile edge of the neck. Going all the way around. Just adding a little bit more shape, a little bit more roundness. Bring that all the way down towards the strap. And then with the side edge of our pencil, we're just going to add an even shade to the rest of the head. Now we'll continue to define the muscles with the side edge of our pencil. I'm going to go back up to the top of the head and start working on the mane. Starting with a dark shadow across the bottom edge and then just pulling that up and out. Just 
Just working with that guideline that we created up here. Darken up that edge. And then continue to add that texture. I'm just going to lighten up the tips of the mane. Just pulling that up and just fading that out. And I'm going across that guideline. few darker areas in between. And then with the tip of our pencil, we'll just add a little bit more texture.
And as we get closer to the end of our drawing, I'm gonna tighten up my shadows and add a little bit more detail. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a horse. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. And if you did, please make sure you subscribe because we're posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.